I live downtown, but a lot of the residents uh, live in different areas. Midtown, downtown are really popular. Um, obviously, our city is seated on the Mississippi River, and we have uh, this area called Mud Island, which is on the riverfront. Um, great access to parks down there, same downtown. Um, I live a little bit more in the, uh, the city core, and um, a lot of our restaurants and things to do are walkable for me, and I'm still only just uh, about a mile from most of our hospitals. So it's really quick, easy. My commute is almost no time, um, and I have the whole city at my fingertips, it's great. A lot of the other residents live in Midtown. Um, houses there are really affordable, especially our residents who have children and families and dogs with backyards. They have um, really great options there. Good, And of course the food scene in Midtown is unique, but also delicious. Um, easy access there. Even if people want to live a little further out in the more suburban areas of Memphis, um, the commutes are quite easy, especially um, early in the mornings when we're coming to the hospital. And uh, uh, the city is very drivable, not a lot of horrible traffic. Um, yeah, so where I live is, is downtown on Mud Island. Um, it's a lot of young people, young professionals, either in school uh, or you know, just starting out their lives. And so everybody's um, always walking in the parks, uh, running, biking, whatever with their kids down there. Do got the, the Memphis Zoo, uh, which I took my kids to yesterday uh, on my day off. It was awesome. Um, uh, you know, Children's Museum, like all that stuff. Um, it, the great thing about Memphis is that everything is super, super close, that uh, everything's very accessible. Uh, Memphis has been great so far, and I'm uh, newly married, and we were able to find a great house for a great price in a great neighborhood. Uh, everyone here uh, is really supportive of having families. We have several uh, married residents uh, in the program, and um, I know that's something that was really important to me whenever I was applying and interviewing at places. I wanted to feel like uh, the program, you could have a family um, and still be you know be successful in the program, and I think that's absolutely true here. Uh, I live in Central Gardens, so pretty close to the University Hospital. Um, it's a great area, uh, like it's a historic district with beautiful, huge trees, uh, a lot of land, a lot of space, and, and the neighbors are great. Just an awesome place. I love it. I definitely uh, that was one of the things I was looking at, um, but it, you know the way in which I ranked it was obviously program first, and then um, would I be happy living in this that city? And I think Memphis certainly fits that build because you're not living in a city where it's impossible to live because it's so expensive. You're not living in like San Francisco or New York where all of your money is going toward living and then you have to take out more loans to actually eat. Um, so Memphis is a, a good cost of living and uh, still offers you know a lot of the big city opportunities uh, that you would want. So lots of festivals, people will make stops here on uh, you know music tours and things like that. So I don't know, I've enjoyed it so far. I'm a runner, so uh, there's lots of really great places to run in Memphis. A lot of great trails, um, especially on Mud Island. You get a nice sunset. The river run can kind of be a nice topper to the day. You know, we have an awesome St. Jude Marathon every year, which kind of has dual meaning because I love to run as a runner, but also, you know, a lot of our patients, uh, the pediatric side that we treat at the bar are St. Jude patients. So there is kind of a lot of complexity and depth in the meeting doing things like that as well as a nice touch and release. Oh my goodness. So that's awesome. That's actually one of the low-key greatest things about Memphis. So they have one of the largest uh, city parks in the nation um, and it, it's amazing and they have a dog portion too so me and Archibald go out there as well. They also have Shelby Forest which has a bunch of trails and uh, if you're into that sort of you know outdoor hiking thing it's it's incredible. You could be there for weeks and still be discovering parts of the park. So. Um, I think that's one of the, the things that I did not even consider when coming here, but it has been an awesome perk of the uh, Memphis is a, um, is, a, is a very beautiful city. Uh, Memphis is a cool place. It has its charm. It's a very authentic, very down-to-earth, very real city. Uh, there's a lot of good food, a lot of good music, which I love. That's another reason I love living downtown, um, because I'm really close to you know, if I want to pop over to a Redbirds game or go see a Grizzlies game, um, it's just around the corner, um, very affordable and easy to do in the, at the last minute. I live close to the Orpheum. I, I have season tickets and I um, will see extra shows at other theaters around town. So the flexibility of 
Memphis and the affordability are huge uh, pluses in my opinion as far as the food and nightlife culture go. Memphis is a very vibrant uh, music scene in particular. Of course, there's a lot of history here. Uh, many of the residents live um, kind of within the um, the uh, bulk of the city and there's uh, actually quite a lot to do within the city of Memphis uh, in terms of restaurants and uh, outdoor places to have uh, gatherings and, and parties and things like that. And so uh, anytime we can get a, a handful of residents together, we like to spend time together on the weekends outside of the hospital and uh, kind of blow off some steam from a busy week. Um, our, the city is really small and we do a lot of socializing together so our extracurricular outside the hospital activities kind of bring us together when we're not rotating in the same hospitals together um, so seeing each other at parties at one of the staff's houses or Christmas parties or even just spontaneous get-togethers meetups for research um, coordination all of these things uh, kind of foster and encourage the unique mentoring relationship we have so, here. So the nice thing about living in Memphis is that when you have a little bit of free time, it's pretty easy to do something. Uh, I love a city with great food and great music, and Memphis has both of those things for sure. Uh, it's a great place to live uh, as a resident. You can live quite well. It's a pretty affordable city. I um, mean, you should get out of the hospital on time. It's not unreasonable to you know, catch a Grizzlies game or get a really nice meal in a great restaurant. The majority of us live five to ten minutes from work. It's very affordable for us, and I feel like we get uh, unbelievable experience, and we get all the benefits of a big city nurse surgery program, and uh, you know, a much smaller, more affordable place to live. If you like the outdoors, it's going to be. Um, the music scene is excellent. Uh, beautiful sights and scenes all around, and it's. Um, if you want to get outside of Memphis, we're actually. Really first there's some nice areas around as well, so it's a, it's a good place. I'm looking to live a little bit further out east, where it's a little bit more of a suburb type of setting, uh, where it's a little bit more quiet. Uh, I've always lived in very high urban type of uh, locations, in you know, apartments and buildings, uh, and I think it's time for me to experience living in a, in a house, in a small house, in a quiet neighborhood. The, the city itself is you know, it's situated on a, on a river, uh, Mississippi River. I, I currently live downtown on, on the river. Uh, it's a great place, really pretty, really nice um, community down there on the Mud Island if you're interested. I've got a wife and three kids now. Uh, I live downtown, uh, the South Main Arts District, District. Didn't know anything about Memphis when I got here. How are you like living downtown? I love it. What, what's this behind us here? Uh, behind us here, Somebody told me it's the Mississippi River. <laughs> does come with some bugs, does come with some uh, some heat and some humidity, but um, it, it does make for a nice atmosphere. And like going down to the uh, the park right downstairs, uh, hanging out there and looking at the, the water go by. Um, love being outside, um, walking down the river, walking across the river, all kinds of cool stuff to do outside here. So. Yeah, I live in the Midtown area, so pretty close to the majority of the downtown hospitals. Um, it's a great neighborhood. We love our street, um, you know, there's always things to do outside, walking, running, you know, bike riding, uh, we can walk to the zoo. Cost of living is very low, um, you know, uh, despite, you know, recent national trends, things are getting a lot more expensive, um, Memphis remains one of the most affordable places to live. So um, even on a resident salary, I think the majority of us um, have bought uh, and now own homes. Uh, there are still a few of us that rent, those are great options as well, but if you do want to buy, this is one of those residencies where you can't afford to do so. You know, getting married, starting a family, having children, we don't have children yet, but uh, doing all those things certainly, you know, probably seem daunting to begin with, but they're definitely doable. We've had multiple residents get married while in residency. Um, and I think a part of it goes back to being a pretty cohesive group, spouses, hang out outside you know of work events and things like that so um, I think it helps to you know make life easier when you have a little bit of a natural blend of work and personal life with you know friendships outside of work. Yeah no, Memphis has a, a really unique um, you know social scene they have a ton of festivals which is incredible I remember whenever I was here for my sub I had the Cooper Young Festival which was an awesome time I um, mean almost everything here is very dog friendly so me and my dog Archibald get a chance to go out and hang out and have a great time and uh, the people here are just incredibly nice you know you can't you can't ask for a better melting pot of people that are 
incredibly helpful and nice. It's a good place to be. You can afford to be here. There's you know stuff for stuff for your kids to do and. One of my kids is in elementary school here in a public school, and I feel like the educational experience is good too. So my wife, son, and I, we live in Midtown. And it's sort of the kind of trendy area, um, still up and coming. One of the main things that we like where we live now, we kind of, is that we can walk uh, you know, a lot of different restaurants, coffee shops, um, bars, things like that are all within walking distance. It's also a really good school district, or at least for elementary schools. The elementary school, it's about th four blocks away, three blocks away, uh, within walking distance, and it's like the highest rated elementary school in the county. So hmm. the reasonable cost of living, um, kind of good food within walking distance, and then being very close to, to work. Where I live, I'm in South Bluffs. Uh, kind of at the edge of downtown so I have the Mississippi River that I could run alongside um, like after work or on the weekends which is really nice and they do a farmer's market every Saturday so it's a bigger city but it ha kind of feels like small town um, but there are some really pretty places to run around here like I said the um, there's a big park system around the Mississippi River and on Mud Island they have their own little trail and then um, Shelby Farms Park has a lot of trails as well um, so that's there's a lot of good places to kind of escape that are like easy access and not too far away. Um, so I'll try to do that or I'll go fishing at Shelby, Shelby Farms Park. I've done that a few times just to kind of ease your mind. You know, downtown, to me, I kind of wanted to, to live in a place where I could walk to a bunch of different restaurants, a bunch of different stores. You've got the farmer's market on Saturday. You've got a movie theater downtown. Uh, it's pretty vibrant with uh, the 20, 30 year old. Uh, so. I like the, the walking environment. I used to live right on Main Street, uh, which had a trolley uh, that ran up and down, all the way down uh, to the farmer's market, the very end of South Main. I now live on Front Street, right on the river. So I can go up to my rooftop deck. Uh, whenever I get home, go check out the sunset right over the river, and it's just super beautiful. The Memphis Grizzlies play five blocks from where I live, so uh, whenever COVID's over and games start happening again, I'll be able to walk to those. Good ones. Uh, one of the great things about Memphis is that it, it really is a food city, so depending upon whatever you're into, um, there's certainly something here for you. Well, great. Um, there's a million good places to eat here. This is a fantastic food city. Especially coming from the north, not used to southern food. I didn't know what pimento cheese was until I got here. It's so good. It's on everything. Here. It's so good. <laughs> you just kind of have to get used to it, but, uh, <laughs> but it's delicious. So uh, that's become a big thing, barbecue. <laughs> Never had good barbecue before I got here. Uh, now I'm all about it. Um, fried chicken. Uh, I thought I knew what fried chicken was. Turns out I didn't. I've had, I've had the real deal now. So, yeah. Learning a lot from Memphis besides neurosurgery. Yeah. The, uh, eating good food and, and getting good views of the, the river. As we were at Gus's Fried Chicken. <laughs> uh, eating my favorite mac and cheese that I've ever had in my entire life. Oh man, uh, I definitely am not one to pick favorites because I have so many uh, things that I love about Memphis. But I must say um, the diversity of food options here and uh, the you know barbecue scene is obviously well known, but we have a lot of other great restaurants too. The best thing about Memphis is that you can go to restaurants that are of a really high caliber quality of food for a really affordable price. And you know, if we have a late case, but you get off pretty quick, it's easy to pop in and get added on or sit at the bar um, to be fit in really easily at a restaurant and uh, all at an affordable price. I like to try different restaurants. Um, the food is so good. Uh, one of the it's bad habits I've picked up. You know, you always have to pick up a bad habit from a, a bad habit from a place you live. Um, I did get a smoker, got a second smoker, uh, and. You know, when you have a long weekend off, they sort of dabble in like brisket and pork shoulder. Uh, and I've certainly gotten pretty good at that um, while living here. So I'm actually gonna probably smoke a pork, pork shoulder tomorrow. So um, bad Memphis habit. Yep, can't come to Memphis and not- uh, Have barbecue. Learn how to, at least at the very minimum, learn how to eat bar barbecue, if not uh, make it yourself. Yeah.